Good morning, folks. You know, I want to talk a little bit about this Highland Park uh, tragedy in Chicago. Uh, my heart goes out to all the families and everybody involved in it. Nobody should have to go through that. It's heartbreaking. But you know, I was listening to the media today and the mainstream, uh, I should say the lame stream media, just makes me sick. They make me want to puke. You know, right away we need more firearm legislation. Uh, the bodies weren't even cold for crying out loud. Um, all they keep talking about is gun violence, gun violence. You know, there's no such thing as gun violence. Guns are inanimate objects. They don't commit violence, period. They never get up off of their table or out of their gun cabinet and go off and commit violence on their own. Instead of blaming the little puke that did this, and I'm not even going to mention his name, I ain't going to call him a man, he's just a little puke. Instead of blaming him, or blaming the parents for letting him live in a basement without having a job at 22 years old, you know, they, they got to find something else to blame it on, and it's always a firearm. You know, I don't know if you remember that time back in New York where a guy rented a uh, Home Depot truck, ran over a crowd of people. I think he killed eight of them. Did you hear the media saying that it was truck violence? How many people are murdered every year with baseball bats and blunt objects? You ever hear the lamestream media calling that uh, bat violence or blunt object violence? How many people are murdered every year with, with knives? Have you ever heard the lamestream media saying knife violence? No. But they want to blame the gun because they have an, adent an agenda. Once they disarm the people, the people have no way of protecting the rest of their rights, and then they can take over. And that's what it's all about. You know, I don't even think the media cares about what happened to those people in Highland. They just, they have an agenda to push, and they want to push it. And it's just sickening. I mean... We don't even hardly know anything about this little puke that did this. And yet, right away, they want to blame the firearm for it. It's, it's mind-boggling. I, I can't... I get so irritated with it. You know, um, I, I'm at a loss for words. I just... It's sickening. It really is. Um... Why don't they go after this kid that did it? Why doesn't the media focus on that? Why is, why is the uh, implement he, that he used always to blame and not him? And it happens every single time. And why is it this always happens right before an election too? I have my suspicions about that, but I'm going to keep them to myself for now, but something stinks. I mean, gas prices are through the roof, inflation's through the roof, uh, food prices are through, through the roof, and yet we get distracted by this while everything else is going on behind our backs. How does that happen? I'd like to know. You know, what this little puke did was totally illegal. I mean, you, you can't just do that to people and, and let it be lawful. It was illegal. But the little puke is a criminal, so he don't care about laws. No amount of legislation, no amount of firearm laws will stop somebody like that because they're going to find a way to do it anyway. It's in their nature. That's what makes them criminals is they don't care about the law. So all this false stuff that I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that to prevent it is BS. It's just total BS. And to blame it on an inanimate object when the object had nothing to do with it is ridiculous. Um, you know, I don't have all the answers, but I know one thing. Disarming honest Americans won't help protect us. That's for sure. You know, and you had all these 
uh, defund the police movements in Chicago, Portland, uh, Washington, California. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's going to help, right? Defund the police. And then you're going to leave uh, uh, Americans defenseless because you want to take away their right to defend themselves. It's utterly sickening. I mean, to turn on the media right now, listen to these talking heads, BS about something they don't even know about. All they know is they have an agenda to help the Democrats take away your Second Amendment right. That's their agenda. Once they are successful in doing that, then you have no way of protecting any other, any other right that you have. You can't protect your First Amendment, your Third, your Fourth. Your Second Amendment allows you to protect the rest of your rights. And they know that. And the only way around it is for them to disarm you so that they can take away the rest of your rights. Well, don't, don't let them do it. Don't buy into their, their baloney, you know. Go, uh, if you want to get mad and you want to go after somebody, go after the little puke that did this, you know. But don't go after honest American citizens. Uh, they have a right to defend themselves. And like I said, you know, my, my heart goes out to all of these family members and everybody had to go through this. It's just horrible, you know. But for the media to get on TV and be so dishonest and disingenuous and blame it on an on inanimate object, boy, it just it rubs me the wrong way. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to get that off my chest. You know, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all in good health. health. I hope your families are safe. You know, and in a time like this, I ask you to just uh, bow your heads in prayer. And pray for all of these families in Highland Park, uh, the, the people that lost loved ones, the people whose family members were injured. Pray for them. And pray for our country, too. Uh, it, it seems to me now that everything that was right is wrong, and whatever was wrong was right. We're upside down. Uh, people have taken God out of everything. Um, bring God back. Uh, bow your heads in prayer. And pray for these families. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate y'all. Take care.